Hello all, another week and we are back with another new enhancement in Power BI which got released recently. This time we are going to look into Zebra BI tables which is one of the most advanced visual that got released in the latest release of Power BI. Unlike other visuals, Zebra BI visuals includes lots of dynamicity. You can define measures at runtime, you can change the visualization at runtime, you can control lots of properties of the Zebra BI visual at runtime. And to add to all of this, Zebra BI visuals are highly responsive in nature. So let's see how we can use Zebra BI for a typical requirement inside our Power BI report and how we can use the different properties to manipulate the measures that we are showing inside as well as to change the visualization at runtime. To start the demo, let's first look at how we can include this new visual inside our Power BI desktop. For this, first go to your visualizations and right click on that ellipsis and you can see the option for get more visuals. Select get more visuals. It will take you to the visuals search screen. Inside that, you can search for zebra visuals. Once the search screen loads, type zebra and click on the magnifying glass icon and you will get uh, the, both the visuals available from Zebra. One is Zebra BI tables and the other one is Zebra BI charts. For this illustration, we will be using Zebra BI tables. So click on add near to the Zebra BI tables. Once you click on add, automatically the visuals will get added. So you can see Zebra BI tables within your visuals. Now click on Zebra BI tables to include it within your report. Once the visual is added, you can start dragging and dropping the required fields to the various properties of the visual. The main properties that we will be interested in this illustration are category property, group property, values property and finally the previous year property. So let's see what happens when you add a required uh, dimension attributes as well as measures to all of these properties and how the visual will behave for each addition. To, so to start off, let's start by adding a measure. So I'm going to select a measure called uh, cumulative quantity and I'm going to add it to the values within this particular visual. So drag and drop cumulative quantity to the values property and automatically you can see that it will add a single bar and it will also add the value associated to that particular property. Now to analyze it based on a category, I'm going to add a category value. So I'm going to choose uh, existing hierarchy which is called product name hierarchy to the category portion automatically if you see the value will get split up and it will be based on to a tabular way the value will be shown as a tabular uh, value for each of the associated uh, categories so in this case the first level would be the brand the second level will be the category and if you split further expand it you can see the product at the third level because i am using a hierarchy i will get a stepped report in this uh, example and if you want uh, to change the visualization also, you can change it to one of the chart types. This is one of the uh, cool features that is available within uh, Zebra BI tables. You, you can determine at runtime what way you want to show it. If you want to show it as a bar chart, that's possible. If you want to show it as a waterfall chart, that's also possible. In this case, it's not that relevant because the measure that we are showing is actually an absolute measure. In this case, it, in cases where that measure shows an increment decrement kind of uh, value, just like a cash flow value, you can choose a waterfall based uh, visual as well. Or if you want, you can use a pin based visual or if you want, you can uh, choose. So there are two ways of waterfall, then you have the pin based or if you want, you can finally choose the tabular alone. So that choice is available as a runtime option from within your chart itself. Once you add that visual itself within the visual, we can change the way it is getting that particular measure is getting visualized. Similarly, if you want, you can add uh, multiple measures side by side. So we have added a quantity measure, community quantity measure. Now, now we'll add uh, one more measure called revenue after discount to the same property which is a values property. So they'll be shown side by side and maybe we'll choose one more, maybe item Count, item count as the third one. So we have now three measures chosen inside uh, the value properties. So the cumulative quantity, the item count and finally the revenue. And now you can choose different ways of uh, showing them. So here I am going to choose a bar based chart for one of the item count. I'm just uh, leaving it as it is and for the revenue I'm choosing the pin. So as you see, you can see different ways of visualizing the various measures and it is done from within the visual itself, not from any 
power bi properties that means it can be done at runtime also now one more thing you can see here is that you have electra and inside that you have uh, the next level which is the uh, so first one is the brand second one is the category and then you have the products and you are getting so many things inside the products so you don't want to see all of them what you can do is like at runtime you can right click on this and there is a top and bottom and functionality available here so you don't need to see all products you just need only to see the top five items so it will only show the top five items and all the others it will put it in a single bucket called others similarly for once you select it it will be getting applicable for everything so electrical bikes any uh, category you expand you will get only the top five and the others will be uh, put in a bucket of itself so that's another wonderful thing you can do at runtime and in addition if you want to select or highlight a particular uh, one alone for example you want to highlight harrow alone so you can right click and choose highlight option so once you choose highlight highlight option only that value will get highlighted so that's also see it will it will be given a different color based on the color that you select here so that will get highlighted so that can those kind of small small things are there then if you want you can invert instead of showing it in the if you want one of the categories to be inverted at runtime that's also possible these are small kinds of dynamic properties which you can choose now let's go and add a, a level of uh, grouping within this so for, till now we are not applying any level of grouping now let's group it by means of year so if you want you can go to the date and choose a year column from the date hierarchy and put it inside the group automatically this will be getting split up based on the year so there will be one set of visuals for 2017 one set of visual for 2018 and if you want to add a grand total that is also possible there is a option to add grand total when you click on that automatically the grand total will also get added to the end and all of these are customizable so if you want to change these to something else also that's possible so cumulative quantity item count you can select any of these names and you can put like order quantity all of this can be changed and the associated formatting can also be changed using one or more of these properties and similarly for uh, item count you can give it items ordered so all of these properties can be changed and now we can have one more small enhancement to this we can add a previous year quantity so i'm going to have a uh, i already have created a measure which is going to show me the previous quantity previous period quantity so i'm using that and putting it in the previous year automatically it will add the delta and the delta percentage so that means what it will do is like it will show the prior previous quantity it will show the difference between the current quantity and the previous quantity which will be shown by your delta and if you want you can it will also show you the percentage so this is your current quantity this is your previous year quantity this is the delta between the current quantity and the previous year quantity it will show whether it was a increase or a decrease and then there will be one particular uh, uh, measure which shows the percentage increase this will be the absolute increase this will be the percentage increase or decrease whatever okay so if you want again you can apply a grouping on top of that as we did previously you can select the year and put it on the group and if you want you can also choose a instead of choosing uh, the bar you can select a waterfall model also if you want so that it will show you the increase decrease as a water flow fall model if it's all increase it will be on one side if it's decrease it will go to the other side like that you can select waterfall model here and it will show it will clearly suggest whether it was an increase from the previous period or it was a decrease so these kind of uh, runtime visuals can be or runtime logics can be added to this visual so as to get more information on your data so this is a very advanced visual and uh, one more thing is that it is actually a highly responsive visual as you change this visual automatically the corresponding parts within the visual get resized itself once you make it into a smaller so assuming that it can accommodate the visuals within it so suppose we are not applying this grouping and if you are now changing the size of it automatically it will it's a responsive kind of design so it will automatically get resized and if you want to show it in a tabular format even that is also possible show us a table option is there where it will show the original data as a table down and you will also have the visuals on top similarly if you want to change the name of this chart even that is also possible instead of having this long list i can put it like sales versus or sales measures by year and you can also make 
change it to the middle you can go to the properties for this title you can go to the properties and in the title you can make it middle aligned and also you can increase the font size so that it looks like a head so these are some of the things you can use in your zebra bi table visual so you can add multiple measures you can add a, a previous year value if you want you can even add a plan value if you have a plan also within your uh, model you can add that plan value as well and you can add also a grouping based on year so there are multiple levels at which you can use this visual see here i have added the plan as well and it has now it will show because i've added the plan as well it will show the comparison between the plan and the actuals so wherever the actuals has increased the plan value it will show a green automatically it will show it in a waterfall model and wherever it has decreased it will show the descending changes so positive and the negative changes which will help you to understand which of these categories or which of which of these brands depending on the level at which you look at it has actually managed to achieve the target and in which all cases it has fell behind so this quick demo showed you how the latest zebra bi table visuals can be used inside a power bi for a simple scenario which consists of uh, multiple measures a level of grouping and how you can add a previous measure for comparison as well as a plan hope you enjoyed this session feel free to give your honest feedback and uh, for getting notifications on for future videos feel free to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for getting notifications Thank you all and meet you soon with another Cube tip like this.